telling me a story about the dirges we sang in Africa and its similarities with the blues. The kind of dirges they used to sing are all blues. So if you consider the characteristics of the blues, everything tells you it's of African origin. These are the main characteristics of the blues. It is usually in 4-4 time signature. There is always a syncopation to emphasize the weak beats. Swing rhythms are also heard, and these two are also characteristics of some African rhythms. It has some spiritual stories too. So sometimes people have other names for it. I don't want to go there. The actual origin of blues is not known, but we've been told blues developed in the southern United States after the American Civil War. We believe we should take a critical look at most of the blues artists. The Muddy Waters, the Robert Johnson, the D.B. Kings, you will agree with the fact that blues is of African origin. From Pamwai Jenna, the legendary Konimo introduces to he also introduces us to many other genres, and one of such genres is blues. My favorite of them are from Charlie Bench, which I'm going to teach you today. It is of African origin, so I can add certain things to it to make it more beautiful. If you listen to the way we play our style of music, something to really tell you that, hey, the blues is of the African origin. It comes from Africa. After I have learned the main melody from Konimo, I saw some similarities between that and some African rhythms. So I really agree with the, the other school of thought who think blues is of African origin. Blues truly comes from Africa, yes. I'm going to demonstrate that to you. 
it is here in Africa that we pile dominant survey calls, dominant survey calls, and then the delay, the sharp, the tall. And if you should compare it to the blue scale, everything should tell you blue truly really comes from Africa. Yes. Look. Do, to, so, fi, fa, no, do. Do, to, to. You are meeting the to. The to is very dominant in our songs. Do, to, so, fi, fa, no, do. So, fi, fa, no, do. We use it a lot. So, this popular phrase in Yang Kwansa, or Lake, we even tell you how we use to. Even after studying the legendary Kuhunimo song, Kwaku Do Sudo, I came to the conclusion that the blues really comes from Africa. Just listen to the melodies. So la so fi so, mi so so fi so, so la so fi so, so la so fi so, mi so so fi so, fi so in the blues case. Don't talk so fi fo mo do, fi so. So talk to la do, la to. Is it not beautiful? This is blues. This is blues with some few missing notes. from the Rota region of Ghana. I deliberately stood by the coast to bring some reminiscences of the slave trade. Probably blues might have gotten into America through that, through slave trade. Usually blues are very melancholic and we usually sing that whenever we are depressed. A song that will usually put you into a very sad mood. Let me show you the main melody for the blues, the legendary shoulders. I'm in the key of C. And I'll first play the melody and I'll form the chords around the melody. So, so, la, la, more, do, la, so. That's the melody, the first one. So, so, la, la, more, do, la, so. This way. And the main bass line goes this way. The continuation of the melody is this. 
this is how I heard it. When Kori Mo said, this is how you have to, you should always try to picture the melody in your own way. And this is how I heard the melody. So, so, fi, fi, fa, fa, lu. Sometimes I play that. I can, I, I sometimes interchange them. So we are building chords around them. And the me, so it's a C. The first one is C. And with a little finger, we we'll play the so, me, so, on the chord, me, so. You can release the third finger. Me, so. Then we need, we need the next so. So we need. For the next so, we play C sharp diminished. So, 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 then la la, la la, you play D minus 7. La la, la. then we play la re do la so, we don't play any chords around that. The more regular so is a leg or a phrase. He play in place of a J7 or J13 or J flat 13. So instead of more regular so you can play. Seven chord C, C, B, B flat, A, dominant seven chord. Then to this, minus seven flat five, to dominant seven, minus seven flat five, to J sharp dominant seven, to J seven, then you play to J seven. I don't want to sound blues. You know that to sound blues. So, but the other alternatives I have are this. Instead of so, so, fi, fi, fa, fa, mi, I can have a whole lot of substitutions on this. On the so, I can have do this. Then on the fi, I'll have a diminish. A diminish. Then on the far, I'll have this. Okay? And on the soul, I'll have this. Only one finger is moving. Only this. Then resolve it back to. Oh, I can also have this. This beautiful chord here. They all go for it. I also learned something from Joe Pass. Working blues. Working bass. So sometimes I chip in that. Do, 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 do. You see? Using minor ninth, minor six, minor seven chords, and so on. Do, do, la, do, re. So, so, so. 
I add and to come home to Africa, I chip in this servants. Do Then James said, the play arguments. Then the first inversion of the C7. This is only heard in African music. I deliberately chip in that one to tell you blues comes from Africa. Check. Is it not similar to this? 